In this video, we're going to talk about views. In each image window, we always have a main view, which contains the whole image. Let's imagine that we want to apply a process to this image. We open Histogram Transformation. Adjust the midtones and apply it. This is a relatively simple operation. Now let's imagine we're going to apply a deconvolution and that instead of 10 iterations, we need to apply 100. If we want to apply a deconvolution with 100 iterations to a 60 megapixel image, the process is going to take a long time to calculate. And when we're using a tool as complex as this, we're almost certainly going to have to change the parameters several times to find the right ones. It's therefore not practical to apply the deconvolution to the whole image because it limits how much we can experiment. To overcome this, PixInsight has developed the concept of previews. Previews are small areas of the image where we can apply processes more easily. To create a preview, we click on the New Preview Mode button. Then we click on the image and move the cursor to make a rectangle containing the area of the image we want to select. This rectangle is the area of the preview we've just created, and the preview selector is now in the tray on the left side of the image window. Now we can apply the deconvolution to this specific area of the image only. Deconvolution is a very delicate process, so we can create several small previews in different areas of the image. For example, one on the nebulas of the spiral arm, another in the nucleus, and another in the shadow areas of the image. Now we can apply the deconvolution to each of these three previews separately. As the deconvolution is only being calculated in a small area of the image, we get the result almost immediately. And we can calculate it in different areas of interest. Applying the deconvolution to these three areas separately is still much faster than applying it to the whole image. So previews have a dual purpose, to increase speed and enable more experimentation. Once we've found the right parameters for the process, we can apply it to the main view. We talk about this in more detail in the videos about previews and processing histories. We can navigate between views using the mouse. We can also use the keyboard, pressing Control and the right arrow, or the left arrow. We can change a preview's identifier by double-clicking on its selector. Let's open a linear image. This linear image has a screen contrast adjustment embedded in it. It's linear. But when we open it, we can see the image content because it already has that contrast adjustment. We know the contrast adjustment is active because we can see this green line along the side of the main view selector. We can disable the contrast adjustment by clicking the Enable Disable Screen Transfer Functions button or pressing F12. When we disable it, the green line disappears. When we create a new preview, the contrast adjustment is carried over from the main view to the preview because we need to be able to see that portion of the image, which is also linear. We can create several previews and they'll all have the same contrast adjustment. 
However, if we disable the contrast adjustment in one preview, it isn't disabled in the other previews. They are all independent of each other. Now we're going to open a star mask. And we're going to apply it to the image we have open. When the image has an active mask, the selectors turn orange. If we disable the mask with this button, the selectors turn back to their usual gray color. We talk about STF and masks in more detail in other videos. All the previews now appear in View Explorer. They're organized in a tree structure underneath their main views. Each preview's specific data appears in the extension. If there are a lot of images open and we want to access one but don't know where it is, we can access it by double-clicking on it in View Explorer. This brings it to the front. This works even if the image is in another workspace. For example, if we want to access the Nucleus preview, we double-click and here it is.